So Shelly, we talked about previous about getting a career clarity and then applying for jobs that's very aligned, customizing. Now the time comes, you got a call or either you want to do a phone interview or after the phone in person. And we know that job seekers need to be prepared, have their stories ready. Do you think that as there's any major difference between phone calls and in person and what kind of preparation that they need to do? Okay, so the first interview you usually have is with somebody from the recruiting team. Yes. Okay, that was what I did. Yeah. And they're going to approach it a little bit differently than the hiring manager is mm -hmm. going to. Their job is to make sure you're qualified for the role. Yeah. And so they've looked at your resume but they're also then want to talk with you because they want to verify information on the resume. They also want to understand more about some of the things that you've done. They may be looking at your communication skills and they can be getting a sense of how you fit in the culture. Yeah. Now they're going to be looking at things that they know that the hiring team are going to be interested in because they have to report back to the hiring team yeah. about what they're um, asking and what you're mm -hmm. saying. So know that in this type of interview, you want to paint as broad a picture as you can about how you're qualified for the role. Reading that job description is going to be really important to understand what they're they're going to be looking for and what you need to be talking about mm -hmm. in those interviews. The other thing I would mention is that they only have so much time. Usually the recruiter interviews are shorter yeah. than the hiring manager interviews. You need to make sure your answers are complete, but they are succinct. You do not want to run on mm -hmm. um, going into really great depth because that recruiter only has so much time. And so yeah. uh, you, they may not get to the questions that they need to have answered if you talk too much. Yeah. And is there a major difference between the first phone interview and in person? I know that in person, it's more in depth, maybe with the hiring manager and more, they're going to ask more questions. Besides that, is there anything that you think job seekers need to be prepared for in person interviews? Well, in person interviews um, often are with the hiring team. Mm hmm. And so they're going to be looking at some different things as they're assessing you. So I always tell job seekers the three things that are really important is one, can you do the job? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the recruiter is looking at that, but the hiring team are going to ask about specific experience, knowledge, skills. Mm -hmm. They are also going to be concerned about how well you can get along with the team or fit in the culture. Yeah. So they have a good idea of the team dynamics yeah. and what would be a positive or a negative for that. So mm -hmm. they're going to ask you about that. Yeah. And then the last thing is they always want to know why you're interested in this role. What does it mean to you? Every hiring team thinks their job is special. Yeah. And they want people who are there because they want to do that type of work. They believe that if you are very interested in that job uh, and it fits some needs that you have, um, that you will stay longer, you'll be more engaged and you'll be more productive. Yes. So they're going to assess you on all three of those mm -hmm. um, during those interviews. Yeah. And I also encourage uh, people I'm helping to ask questions at the very end because interview is a two-way communication. Of course, ask questions that's important to you, not about salary or benefits. Is there any specific questions you think job seekers need to ask? No, I, I, I don't think that there are specific ones. I think they all should be relevant to your decision mm -hmm. of whether this is a good fitting role or not. Mm -hmm. We talked a little bit 
about career clarity. And this is where that helps because if you understand what is important to you, what your value is, what you want to do, then you can ask the questions to see if you would be able to do those things in that particular role. And that's really valuable for you being able to actually thrive in that role. Those are great tips, Shelly. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any more tips, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Shelly.